Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer courtesy of Robert, thank you so much. Another beer from Nashville. This is Southern Grist Brewings Mixed Greens number three. So part of their IPA series, this is number three. Uh, awesome, awesome label on this one, by the way. Uh, they really do uh, great design art uh, down there. And um, yeah, some information on the side. This is an IPA 6.2% brewed with uh, Citra Galaxy and Vic Secret. So let's dig in. And they even mention um, our version of Hazy New England IPA series. So like they actually actively are seeking the style, trying to brew like that. So let's dig in. Let's see how they do. Oh, wow. Very nice looking beer. It comes into like peachy kind of gold color almost as if it's peach juice. Uh, medium plus a full haze, just gorgeous, gorgeous looking beer. Let's get the aroma on this one. Mm, very nice. Um, you get some candied sweetness in there. Uh, a little bit of this tropical fruit kind of notes, some mango jumping through. A little bit of like grapefruit. A nice kind of like light breadiness in there as well. Some deep pine, cheers. Mm. Quite crisp. And light, dry, and bitter. Uh, definitely reminds me of New England style. You know, barely any malt to speak of, but yeah, a very nice kind of uh, really good uh, New England style IPA. Falls up front. Ooh, wow. There's a, certainly a bitterness underlying this beer, like deep, resiny, um, pine uh, kind of quality. But up front, a big, juicy smack of pink grapefruit. More of that kind of mango quality jumping through. Uh, nice kind of like juicy tropical fruits, but it transitions quite quickly. You get a kiss of sweetness in the middle, a little bit of malt just, just to hold up the hops, and then bang onto that bitterness. Medium plus bitterness attacking through. Um, you get this kind of, again, more of that pine resiny kind of quality. Um, because of that, the mouthfeel and the, the creaminess is sort of taken back. It's very crisp, uh, very dry, but not the biggest, chewiest IPA you've ever had. Again, 6.2%. It's a, a crusher, uh, so it works for me in that sense. Mm. Absolutely delicious, yeah. Just really well executed, very clean IPA. Um, yeah, I like it, it's just well built, you know, nothing too crazy, but it certainly has a nice bitterness to it. Um, again, driving through with mostly the grapefruit flavors is what I get from this one, but also lingered along with the uh, tropical fruits. But then again, there's really the pine that really sits on this palate, um, on my palate. Uh, as for rating, delicious stuff, yeah. Um, 96 minus, 96 minus. Again, um, I would have guessed this is straight up another amazing brewery out coming out from New England, another uh, crazy brewery is popping up with uh, amazing New England style beer, and they definitely are. Straight up like the style, uh, great interpretation of the style. It, it does something very crushable, nice and light. It's very well executed, hard to find any flaws in here. De again, it definitely does have a bitterness to it, so definitely look for it if you want that grapefruit flavor and that piney bitterness, but it's doing its own thing. It's a little bit different. I like it. It's absolutely fantastic. Nashville is killing it. Until next time, guys, cheers. Later.